Welcome and thank you for checking out my review of She Dies Tomorrow, directed and written by Amy Simetz, a film that is definitely not what you might be expecting. We start the film by following Amy, who is ravaged by the notion that she is going to die on the next day. But eventually the film spirals out of control and we start to follow different characters because it turns out this disease that Amy has of this notion that she's going to die in the next day is contagious. She passes it on to one person and then that person starts to infect many others. And in essence, what this film is, is half allegory, but half a visceral, earnest, raw look at anxiety and what it is and what it is like to have it. Something that I really like in this film is how in every person that is affected by this, it has different effects. They react in different manners. They all have something in common. You can recognize the patterns and quote-unquote symptoms of these anxiety attacks, but it feels extremely authentic and raw if you're at all familiar with what it is like to have an anxiety. And I found the performances overall to be also extremely riveting, especially by our main lead, Amy, played by Caitlin Scheel. I hope I'm pronouncing that last name correctly. It's almost uncomfortable to watch her in this film and seeing what she's going through, certain decisions that she makes. And the film chooses to go quickly into flashbacks to see how this all started. Because the film starts, she just has this notion. She wakes up and she knows she's going to die tomorrow. But going back and see how it got to her is extremely intriguing in the way the film does it. But as I said, following different characters is actually what makes this film worth it. Because you can totally see that just following Amy would become repetitive and monotonous. But seeing how it affects other people, how it affects a married couple with a daughter, how it affects a couple that is not gelling 100%, how it affects a doctor. And even at one point you quickly meet two characters who for real have had this for a while and have a complete opposite reaction than what you see in the rest of the film from most people who just get this for the first time. I found that to be extremely telling and I found that to be extremely insightful as to how different people react depending on how long they have been dealing with this condition. The film also has an hypnotic score and probably some of my favorite cinematography of the year. It's simple, it's to the point kind of, but it's extremely creative in how they achieve it. How they play with color and light and how they play with wide shots, with close-ups, the more intimate moments of this film feel extremely personal and you can tell it feels extremely personal to Amy Simon who directed and wrote this film. Not to say that this film is perfect, even though I respect this vision and I could relate in a lot of ways to the characters in this film, and I deeply appreciate the vision and what she was going for in this film with this story and this allegory, and this kind of very aggressive look into what it is to have anxiety. The film feels very vague. It doesn't feel like overall it has anything to say. It's great that it presents this look at what it is like, but by the end, it doesn't really feel like it adds anything to the conversation, which is unfortunate. It's still really great that this film does what it does, but you can see the potential for more. It feels too experimental at some point. It lacks in pacing, but overall in purpose. It never becomes ordinary, it never feels like something that you have seen before, but it also never adds anything new exactly as to what the point of it is, unfortunately. It touches on the emotional pain that it is to have this condition, but also on the overwhelming feel of being lost and lonely, because no one around you understands you or cares to try to understand when sometimes you have these issues and other people just don't relate. I'm giving She Dies Tomorrow a C+. Now, my beautiful geekies, what did you think of She Dies Tomorrow? Did you relate in any way to the characters? If you feel comfortable talking about it, let me know in the comments below. And what is your favorite movie that depicts raw vulnerability when it comes to 
a condition that someone might suffer from. Let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching once more. Stay tuned for more reviews coming today and during this weekend for The Secret Garden, Made in Italy and Tax Collector. I hope to see you on those. So till the next video, stay beautiful, stay geeky and don't forget to subscribe and like the video because it really helps me and the channel a lot. But most importantly about everything else forever and always, love each other and love the movies.